Greetings fellow leaders and welcome back to Fort Dave 2.5. Yes guys, it is done. It is finished. I spent about three or four hours about last night just nailing it, which is why I haven't uploaded it and there will not be uploads, but uh, judging by the uh, view counts, I don't think it really matters. But I feel really bad about not putting out content on this channel and I wanted to apologise to you guys, so I thought I'd do a tour and here it is. Here is Fort Dave 2.5 in all its glory. Now, as you can see, I've had like a, ma a massive abundance of walls just to try and keep James out. It's absolutely mad. And hopefully it will work. I mean, the danger level is really, really low. And we've got positive cash flow, which was a rule. We had to have positive cash flow. Uh, danger. Oh, hello. Danger level is you can have it whatever you want. But I want to have it low because helps with riots and things and hopefully there won't be many of them you hear that James no rioting even though that probably will happen we also have CCTV we've got the lots and basically what I've been doing is just unlocking everything in bureaucracy which took about which probably took most of the time like I've unlocked security like I've got things like surveillance and armory and just basically everything that we need we have a psychologist that does absolutely nothing Apart from probably keep the danger level down a bit, actually thinking about it. And if we go into the regime, basically what I've done is I've kind of messed around a bit. And I've got programs and stuff kind of going on in the background, which is great. Because I can get people working and all that stuff. But that's kind of a bit of a side thing. Because it kind of just, it kind of um, makes the cash flow a bit more positive as well. If I can kind of get that working. But it's just, it was just a pain. I've got guard towers set up. I've got... Four road gates, which I've got one locked. I need to change that in a minute. Got the massive CCTV control room, all the offices, the storage, the power station. Surprisingly, I haven't blown it up yet. Got the laundry room, which, as you can see, is just surrounded by all that stuff. Got the cell block, got the storage to the left. Got the massive kitchen and canteen, which, as you can see, manages to actually feed most of the prisoners, which is good as long as we feed most of them that's okay we also have like a as i said workshop classrooms like the xbox room we've got the yard and we, if we try and open the regime now you'll see what i've done is i've changed them for like minimum security norm security and maximum security now one of the rules is that we couldn't change the regime however after talking to james we decided that we would just have like the same hours but we can split them up a bit because it's just, it helps with feeding and also like using the showers and also writing as well. You hear that James, you're not getting out mate. So this is Fort Dave 2.5, I've got loads of walls. It's really, well in my opinion, I put a lot, this is the best prison I've ever done, I put a lot of effort into this. James's will undoubtedly be a lot better. I've got loads of nice floors, fancy floors, nice grass and all that fun stuff. I've got the visitation, I've got... It's, it's just amazing. I've got, like, the storage, as I said, the staff room. The staff room? I can't pronounce words. And, like, the walls are a mess, but we, we, we won't go into that. I've got all the intake off. We've got 39 prisoners in. Oh, needs. I haven't actually looked at this yet. It seems to be surprisingly okay. Grants, we haven't even touched them, because who, need, who, who needs grants these days? And, as I said, we've got intake clothes, but there'll be plenty. We've got ma mainly normal risk prisoners... And we only have three workers because th we don't need them anymore. It's ma I've mainly spent my money uh, to keep the positive cash flow into guards and also the cooks as well cause they need to, because prisoners are less likely to rant or rage if you actually uh, feed them. And there we've got education as well, which is great because actually, no, it isn't great. All it's really, well, no, it, I think two people have passed or something, we've, but we've got the workshop and that's fine i suppose we got the massive shower room we got a solitary which at the start loads of people were in but as you can see there's not actually any prisoners in there at the moment which is absolutely great danger level is at zero beat that mate i am honestly so proud of this prison and hopefully hopefully james cannot escape so i need to quickly do a couple of things just before we give it to James to try and escape from because I've got a couple of doors that I had locked open. So I need to just change that right now. I just need to change that one um, over here. But we've got obviously clash over there. Got the supply trucks coming in. Uh, them two at the visitation are actually fine. I don't need to change them. What am I doing? 
the one at the canteen in the kitchen is fine. And that's basically it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is it. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, bit of a short video, bit of a different video. I just thought I'd kind of give you a bit of a tour of Fort Dave 2.5 before we actually try and escape from it. And I just wanted to kind of take this time to say thank you for watching our content. We do appreciate it. I'm trying to upload stuff as much as I can. But basically we're both at colleges at the moment. And it's just absolutely mad really. And... We're starting to sort things out. We've got a lot of Gmod stuff planned. We're going to get our friends in. It's going to be good. But we do appreciate you watching our content. And that is pretty much it. The Watchers fight will be coming soon. Which is going to be awesome. And we will see you guys in the next video. Adios.